fight coming up, so naturally I decided I'm going to post a video predicting the main event Israel Adesanya versus Marvin Vittori. They're fighting for the middleweight strap. It's gonna be a great fight, I think. Unlike the first fight. So my prediction uh, will be mentioned at the end of the video. Please like and subscribe, comment about anything. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Um, okay, so first off, this is gonna be the second fight between Marlon Vittori and Israel Adesanya. My opinion about the first fight, it wasn't, it, it, it wasn't a good fight, if you ask me. Uh, it was uh, very conservative in both parts. Uh, it, it didn't, there wasn't a lot of damage dealt uh, on either, uh, or delivered to either fighter in my opinion and definitely i mean marvin vittori uh has an argument that he won that fight N no he didn't win that fight uh israel uh didn't beat him definitively but certainly marvin vittori didn't win that fight i've seen the fight at least four times uh you know early you know when it happened and after and a couple of times just recently just to really analyze it and there's no way now Marvin Vittori won the fight. He, yeah, he, he might have won the third round by a bit. Not, def, not, not like a definitive round for him. But uh, yeah, there's, you know, he, he, one judge gave it to him, I believe. And I think that's what's fueling his uh, sort of delusion if you will that he won that fight or maybe he's not delusional and he's just he realizes in inside that he did lose the fight and he's just using it to get in the head of uh israel that's that's totally conceivable um so so that's my opinion about the first fight now let's talk about marvin a little more here while we're on the topic on the first fight um you know, he did also take down Israel. Okay, Israel before that, you know, it's something I actually forgot about. And I remember people even saying, as far as Israel can't be taken down or he's never been taken down. Some people have said that. And I, I actually was on that. I heard people say that and I was like, okay, yeah, sure. Um, but then Marvin Vittori took him down, although he didn't really capitalize on the takedown on the on the top position. Um, he, he wasn't able to do much to Israel during that time. And Israel got back up maybe 30 seconds after, I, I can't remember. So he did take him down. Okay, Marvin has good wrestling. Um, so, so that's something to note about the first fight with regards to Marvin. He, he, he didn't perform as well as I think he's been performing lately over the last, his last four fights at least. Um, he's definitely shown uh, a more sort of tangible, a more measurable or noticeable rather, a more noticeable improvement versus Adesanya, in my opinion. So that being said, he could continue to, we could see that strategy again. That could be part of his strategy. Maybe not the primary strategy. It could be maybe, you know, uh, plan B for him. I don't know, who knows. But if he's, he was able to take Israel out of Sanya down in the first fight, he's improved so much in wrestling that I think he would be easily be able to, or not easily but you know it, it's it's he probably has more ability to do it now even is what i'm saying um another thing about marvin vittori is the guy's on a win streak right and i wanna i wanna say i think israel adesanya is if you pound for pound a better fighter than marvin vittori 
but this is a factor that is playing on the side of Marvin Vittori. He's on a very good win streak. Uh, let's, let's have a quick look. His last loss was to Israel Adesanya, right? So Vittori is on fire. I mean, confidence level is high. He's, um, he's on a five fight win streak, right? And last loss was to Israel, who wasn't the champion yet. At the time. Okay, so he has that played to his favor. Another thing as well is that, as I said, and this is more of a negative thing about Fittori. Uh, we're going to move on to Adesanya now, but before that, like I want to emphasize that Vittori, Vittori doesn't really have the, I don't think he has the, you know, I don't know what to say, not the skill, but it just, he seems lacking. He seems lacking. And I think that's the word I want to use to, to, to defeat Israel. Even even at his Kevin Holland fight, at his Jack Hermanson fight, at his uh, Kyle Robertson, Robertson fight, it, it just, I, I don't see it. I don't see the guy, the guy who's gonna, gonna beat Israel. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, you know, his style is not as, maybe his, his, his whole strategy is, is, and his whole fighting style is not to seem like that guy, but he's definitely, you know, five fight win streak is, is, is a five fight win streak, right? So something's working for him. And, you know, he's not, he's not fighting slouches, right? Um, these are high ranked uh, middleweights. So that's it for Marvin, really. Uh, I don't have anything else to say specifically for him. Uh, now we move on to Israel. I mean, like I said, he won the first fight without question. So, so there's that means this fight he should win as well, right? I mean, logically, that, that's that's not a bad thing to to deduce. He also, I want to say, certainly has prioritized on his ground game. You see that in his training. He said it in interviews. You know, he's he, uh, take down defense is also something that I believe has that has improved since his Marvin Vittori fight. He hasn't been taken down, uh, I believe, since uh, until until he just uh, lost to Jan Blahovic. So I mean, that, that's something, right? So will will that be able to prevent Marvin Vittori from taking him down if he, Marvin Vittori decides to do that? I don't think so. I think if Marvin Vittori decides to really take down Israel, he'll be able to. Uh, will Israel just negate everything like he did in the first fight and stand back up? Maybe. Or will Israel even show some sort of off offense on the ground? Who knows? Uh, I doubt that though. Um, moving on, uh, another point is and this is more of a negative, right? Uh, I want I want to say Israel didn't really, as as he did win the first fight, but you got, if you look at it, he didn't really mount an effective offense against Vittori. He didn't have a definitive win against Vittori there. What does that mean? I mean, could it just be a bad night in the office for Israel Adesanya, where he didn't perform as well as he normally does? It could be. But he doesn't strike me as a fighter who allows himself to succumb to those sort of things. He's very sharp. He's very prepared in his fights always. He's, he, he seems to always have a good mindset uh, on fight night. So I thought that it could be that Vittori's style is just not... It doesn't really work mesh well with the offense of Israel, would it, or, or Israel's offense doesn't really work well against the style of Vittori. Maybe. Um, it's hard to say, but the, the fact remains. I mean, if you would say Israel had a side and fought Marvin Vittori and won, I would not describe that win as an impressive win by any means. It wasn't impressive. It was, he won, 
there, there's no question, but it was a bad fight. You know, it is what it is. Um, maybe there's something to that. Maybe there isn't. But that's just something I wanted to voice out. I mean, it, it could mean that this, you know, he's just not effective against a fighter like Vittori. Um, and another thing I want to mention about Israel, I mean, I want to mention again, he is the superior fighter. There's no doubt about that. That's my opinion. Uh, he is the superior fighter pound for pound. But um, just like I mentioned, uh, Marvin Vittori is on a win streak. He's coming off of a loss, his first loss in MMA against Jan Blachowicz. Blachowicz. So this is important as well because um, enter Luna. It's important because um, the fight that, that transpired a few months ago between when Israel lost could have revealed uh, holes in, in Israel's game. That uh, I mean, if you watch the fight, there are some holes in his game. In it. It has to do maybe with size, but I believe the differential in size between uh, Marvin Vittori and Jan Blachowicz is not so big that uh, Marvin cannot sort of implement some of those strategies to work for him in this fight. I'm not sure, it, not, and I would say not all, not all people, not all fighters are capable of of being that flexible and looking at a fight and in within a few months adjusting their fight style to to sort of accommodate uh, their, their next fight or to, to use in their next fight effectively not all fighters can do that some fighters are really stuck on their style you know it's just like okay um you know maybe they try to 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 improve sorry about the noise my, my dog's trying to to, to leave the room but this video is almost done anyway so um you know they try to but but they're really stuck on on their style it's just very one-sided um and and i don't mean to to insult any fighter here but i mean an example would be jersey near rosen strike maybe you know if you look at his fights it's really dependent on counter punching and, and that left hand and i'm not sure if he can he can really show much beyond that sort of sort of strategy and fight style, right? Um, is Vittori that fighter? I think he is quite flexible in terms of the strategies and fight styles he can implement in a fight. But um, let's see, let's see. I mean, these are all speculative things. Um, that being said, I mean, as much uh, as, much as uh, it seems the situation seemed to favor Marvin Vittori. I, I think Israel Adesanya will remain champion. I believe so. Um, and I'm saying this very hesitantly, okay? I think there's also a very significant chance that Vittori could be the first Italian champion this weekend. Um, but that's a taller order than uh, Israel defending his, his belt. Um, another thing that works towards Vittori's favor uh, is he's playing a lot of mind games, it seems, in this uh, in the build up to this fight. And it seems to be getting into Israel's head. Um, you know, in, that might also play into the fight and, and could upset uh, Israel uh, and, and could give give all of us an upset and Vittori could be the new champion but I really think we're gonna continue to see Israel uh, Israel's reign as a middleweight champion that's my prediction um, yeah if you're gonna bet and you if you're using this information for that like I always say my prediction videos um, that's your money that's your decision I'm still thinking if I'm gonna put any money on to this uh, bet but um, I'm definitely predicting it's on uh it's it's on here so like there's proof that's my prediction all right thank you so much for watching the video more content to come
If you haven't yet, hit the like button. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.